Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the Cuba Community Meeting. It is the 17th of July, 2024. Um, do we have anyone uh, who is new to the meeting? I'm having a quick look to the participants. It doesn't look like it. Um, in which case, we'll move right along and check in with our schedule. Um, now, today is the delayed 1.3 release day. Um, I presume it's still going ahead. Is anyone able to quickly speak to that? Confirm that? Stu, I'm looking in roughly your direction. I'm going to presume that Stu is wrestling with his mute button. Uh, so we might have to come back to that in a second. But for now, let's have a quick poke into the 1.4 uh, release. Very slow. All righty. So key dates to be aware of is the 13th of August, that roughly four weeks time, we've got the Kubernetes 1.31 release. The 22nd of October, we have the uh, Kubevert 1.4 feature freeze. And the 12th of November, we'll have GA. Uh, I'll actually skip the CFP check-in. I had a look at the DevOps days and the the, um, the KCDs, there's very small lists. Um, in case you are interested, the links are there. Um, I wanted to get to, oh, this is horribly slow. Uh, Daniel, would you like to take um, onto your agenda and I'll see if I've got any containers running. Um, yeah, sure. Um, I have uh, a request um, related to user guide owners. Um, so the thing is currently we have a couple of PRs that are lacking reviewers. I figure that is because of uh, like reviewers being tagged who are not, who don't, or who lack the bandwidth to do this. So I was thinking we might probably change to a different model since we have the six now already. We could probably like um, piggyback on this one and just add the SIGs uh, to their respective folders in the user guide. So this is what the PR that I attached to this item is about. Um, so um, I um, copied actually the SIG uh, reviewers and approvers sections from the Qubit, Qubit repository into the user guide. Um, and oh, did I fix, did I put in the wrong link? Oh, that's sad. Oh, yeah, the, the, the most, the topmost link is like the, uh, the result of the open PRs that we have, like currently waiting for reviewers. This is just to show the problem that we have. I think there were like around 16 pull requests that lack uh, reviews on the user guide from people that seem to be first time contributors. So I was thinking we should probably increase like the, uh, the activity on the user guide so that people are not being like pushed away by uh, no one looking at this. That was my um, concern, uh, concern about that. And so, yeah, what you're showing actually like is the, um, the, um, the changes I did. Um, I uh, moved the owners uh, that are currently there from the top level if you, if you want to probably uh, click at the files change, then I can show you a bit around. I moved the reviewers and approvers that are actually there into the owner's aliases file. That is, um, if you, if you um, go to the left um, and take the, yeah, there it is. Uh, I added the uh, reviews and approvers, but below that, there is like also the SIG test reviewers, SIG test approvers and all these um have been just copied blindly towards this one 
And then when you look at the docs sections where the folders are, for example, like for cluster admin, compute, debug word stack and network on the left, when you where you have the, uh, the the several things, I just refer to the, for example, for the cluster admin. Yes, exactly. I just refer to the SIG compute reviewers and SIG compute approvers. So maybe that helps um, in like um, um, getting uh, the specific people to review things that they should somehow own. Also. Obviously, this is like also solving the problem that people from SIG, for example, like from SIG storage could own their own stuff uh, with that. So that they have like the SIG, uh, SIG storage approvers, for example, would be able, would be eligible to approve anything inside the storage folder, for example, uh, which could probably lead to, um, yeah, people being more able to fix their problems of their own. Oh, so. Uh, maybe, Andrew, you can put it in better words than me. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> this is awesome, Daniel. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I, I think that, yeah, like I said, first of all, my main concern was that like um, reviewers from external sources might be scared away because there was no activity on the user guide, which is sad. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll plus one that. This is, uh, this is great work and a nice kind of um, meeting of the recent changes to our SIGs and the recent reorganization of our user guide uh, together kind of makes this, um, yeah, a, a really good step forward in, um, in honoring in responsibility in res responsibilities of different parts of the user guide. So thank you very much. I think it's got uh, an LGDPN, uh, LGTM and an approve. Um, it's just got a hole in it to give people a bit more awareness to raise any uh, perceivable issues. So related to that, I just wanted to mention that uh, currently um, I've just copied the stuff from the Kubernetes Cuba Cuba repository itself. In the long run, obviously, there should be some automation that syncs all the owner's aliases files so that we um, have a central repository somewhere where we store all these this information and would then sync on the several repositories the owner's alias is files with these. So, um, but yeah, so that's something that we would need to tackle in the long run. For now, we need to like make up with manual copy paste stuff. Sorry for that. And that makes a lot of sense. And yeah, really sorry, this, my system seems to be really lagging today, uh, more so than usual. So everything's just a little slow. Um, also, just to help out with that, um, I can't self-nominate myself for to be an approver of the user guide. I'm currently a reviewer, um, but I think I've uh, ticked all the boxes. So if anyone would like to nominate me, I can um, help out with some of those approvals. Um, just on the slide. Okay, um, I didn't see anything else in the agenda or the open floor. Um, Aurel, you've got a couple of PRs you'd like some attention on. Yeah, so the, uh, the first one is the support for the compute container resource overhead in the network binding plugins that uh, was merged on main and on 1.3 and is also approved by the SIG network approver, and we currently need a call maintainer to approve it. So this is that. There is also a, the next PR, which is improving the implementation of this specific uh, design proposal and decouples it from the template service and the VIRT handler. It is also approved by the SIG network maintainer, and I'm looking for a core maintainer to approve.
there is also the next PR that I'm not sure who uh, raised it, but it's a PR that was opened by a person that I'm currently helping to onboard the project. So I'm reviewing it. And that's it. Wow. That was me. I added that um, as just part of the weekly triage. So you're on top of that? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, regarding your design proposal, if it's got the LGTMs, then I can approve that. Um, for this one, you need a core maintainer. I see a couple in the meeting today. Um, yeah, so before approving it, I think that someone from C Compute should also approve it. So it won't get approved without their approval first. Yep. Well, I think the two Wanna people that I see, Jet, Jet and Stu, are both in uh, C Compute. So since they're here. Yes, this is Jed. I'll have a look. Thank, Thank you. you and the next PR is mine. Uh, or I should say, it's, it's all of ours. So with the, uh, I guess, Stu, are, are you around? By any chance? All right, now you can hear me. Sorry, double mute. Hey. Um, yeah, I was wondering if you had any um, uh, greater awareness than I about the 1.3 going out today. Oh, is it today? <laughs> Let me check that. Uh, oh, hey. Lubo's here. Yeah, it's getting there slowly. I encounter a problem while releasing, so we'll see if I can fix it. Okay. Um, in that case, if but uh, no, there's if... no there's no greater concerns that would hold it up. Just whatever Lubo's trying to polish. Oh, okay. Is it an issue with the build system? Uh, issue with the release too, it's, uh, or probably the GitHub API, it's returning that the current candidate is not found. Uh, so yeah, you need to debug what's, what's, what's the problem there. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, if, uh, if relevant people are able to uh, give their blessing to this, then we can just... Um, uh, Approve it, put it on hold, and then when the release goes out, we can just unhold. We don't have to wait on anyone. Um, this is a fairly uh, usual update to taking the, the change log from the release candidate and then um, providing links and then sorting it into uh, necessary groups, API change, bug fix, and then the seek. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm sure you will, but if you could please keep me posted about the uh, 1.3 release. Uh, the Qubit Summit attendee survey. Um, so I sent out a message this week because I have a, a bit of a suspicion. Uh, some people reported that the CNCF emails or the Linux Foundation emails, um, some of them are getting blocked. So I've sent this out. Um, I haven't included the link because it's you should anyone who attended the survey was automatically sent out to all of those people. I didn't want to just um, send it out to a bunch of people that didn't attend um, because it is specifically about uh, those who attended uh, Qubit Summit this year. Um, if you could please uh, um, dig it up. If it is a pain in the ass, if, if it is lost, it's not findable in your uh, email. I will end up posting the link because um, that's I guess more important to get. Um, that information. It is uh, uh, really important feedback um, and one of the few things that we have to uh, improve upon. 
one of the few metrics that we can take and, and improve upon. Especially this year, um, we are looking for next year to be doing an in-person event. It does affect everyone um, who, who, who attends it, has attended it this year and in previous years. Um, it has both pros and cons, and it'd be really interesting to hear uh, who would be interesting and able to attend if we did go in person. Otherwise, we'll keep doing a virtual event. Um, we've got two bugs. If you'll bear with me in my hectic lag. So I wasn't entirely sure what this uh, bug was asking for. Maybe they're asking for, I guess, a, a description or a documentation on this particular Basil script. Is anyone else able to help me out here? I saw that issue earlier on as well. I wasn't not really sure what they're what they're looking for or what they're trying to do with the script or what they want to try and do. So it's hard to know what explanation they require. Somebody posted a bug asking to understand the code. Is that what this yeah. is? No, I'm with you. I don't I don't know what to do with that. I don't know how to help there. <laughs> I can I can respond just asking maybe a follow up question just to see what they're what they what they want from that issue and if they don't get back they'll probably potentially close the issue. Well, there is some grain of truth to the underlying like if people think Basil is hard in general, that's a data point. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But um, this this script is only just for creating a, a local cache, I believe. So, um, maybe they're trying to create their own cache or something along the lines of that. So I just I just contact them back and see, and if I can help them in any way. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. And. I was also hoping someone would be able to help me out with this one because um, I got nothing. So this is a feature request for a different networking stack. Is Eddie in the room? I think I saw Eddie was off. Eddie, Eddie is on PTO for at least a week. And I think this guy is uh, talking about storage. Isn't it? I, also, I also think this is, yeah, this is uh, storage. Just this new uh, standard trying to break out where you do NVMe over uh, fabrics. But I, I don't know why there wouldn't be. You can tag me in there. I'll make sure. Uh, Discussion is started. Seems weird to me that we would have to do something specific on the Qbert side for this to work. Ah, uh, you never know. Um, thanks, Alex. Indeed, thanks, Pat. Just two little things I wanted to do before we wrap up. Uh, I've got two flake test fixes. So we like to celebrate these kinds of things. Have a quick look. Uh, I see Federico 
is here. Uh, Federico, would you like to quickly speak to these? Oh, uh, sorry guys, uh, hello. Yeah, basically it was uh, already a quick fix. Uh, I tried to refresh my memory actually, uh, but yeah, I think that uh, the test was uh, getting uh, all the nodes uh, and just pick ones uh, from the list and and then tries to get the the worst uh, the worst handler um, certificates to perform some um, some requests uh, but in some environment this can be uh, not true because uh, you know, in, in our CI, uh, we have the control plane and uh, worker nodes uh, in the same. All the nodes are control planes and worker, uh, but in some uh, setup, uh, it cannot be true. So, if uh, the first one node is uh, a control plane, the first handler is not there, so everything is broken. This is a quite easy fix. So, instead of retrieving all the nodes, just the scheduled ones. Hey, Federico. Um, I yeah. recall a food fight from about a year ago about the meaning of the scheduling flag, and there's some bitter discontent about the definition and if we should be using it, blah, blah, blah. Um, could you pull in Roman Moore to the discussion? I don't know if he's paying attention these days, but he might have some insight that's worth noting. Yeah, I will try to... Uh, thank you. This is what uh, are you asking for? Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And while you're there, you've got another one here as well. So if you could um, also just have a quick. Yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, easier uh, than the previous one. Uh, basically, when we create a VM, uh, there was a test where we trying to retrieve immediately the VMI, and uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the eventually consistency can uh, it can occur that uh, the VMI uh, resource is uh, still not there, so everything, uh, you know, the get request fails and uh, all the tests uh, fails at all. Uh, yeah, just adding an eventually block uh, and waiting for the VMI to be created. And that's, that's it. Awesome. Thank you. I also noticed while I was pulling these out, um, yeah, I mean, who doesn't like a, a flaky test fix? Uh, we have a few new. Um, that have been raised. So we'll get to celebrate them later when they get merged. Um, but if anyone is interested in jumping in on the bugs raised or helping out with um, reviews of the um, PRs that have been raised, that would be great and necessary. But thank you. That brings us to the bottom of the agenda. Let me just see if anyone has added anything they have not. In which case, um, we'll end at the bottom of the hour today. I will leave a couple of seconds in case anyone wants to ask something or raise something before we finish up today. So now is your opportunity. Um, Andrew, just making sure you saw the chat. Uh, we'd like you to open a self-nomination as an approver to use a guide. Roger that. Uh, I will. I, I see. I. I thought when I was looking through um, reviewing some of Daniel's recent working group stuff, I thought it specifically said um, for approvers. Uh, but uh, if enough of uh, the core people say that I'm mistaken, I'm happy to take that and I can um, I'll self nominate. So thank you for your vote of confidence. Please um, tag me also on the PR. I'd be happy to sponsor also. Cool. Thank you. Um, hey, is there anything else anyone wants to add in right at the end before we finish up? Today?
In which case, we will close there. Thank you all very much for attending this meeting, for being involved, and for everything you do in the community. Hope you have a lovely day, and we'll see you all next week. Cheers. Bye. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. See you. Bye. Thank you, Andrew. See you. Bye.